In this video, let's look at creating service packages. So if we go up to catalogs, service packages, you'll see your list of service packages. So of course you can open and amend these as necessary, but let's create a new one. First, we need to give it a number. It can be anything you want. Uh, typically it's an abbreviation of the actual description. And then of course a description for the package. You'll notice in the header here that we have a couple of other options. Extended description is used to elaborate or give more information about a specific uh, service package on the document. You'll also find here a main description. So if the package header is used, then this is the description that will be on the document followed by this extended description. Or you can choose package version where the version description will be displayed along with the version extended description. Another option we see in the header is compressed document lines. So with this slider turned on, when you add this service package version to a document, whilst you can see all the lines it's made of, when you actually print the document, you will just get the heading followed by the value for the version. So it's ideal if you want to hide things like air conditioning, gas quantities or remap tokens and etc. So once you've filled out the header we can move down to the versions. Uh, as you can see I've put a description in here. Uh, then if we click on the amount over to the right hand side it'll open the version lines where you can fill it out just the same as if it was on a job sheet or a estimate. So we'd recommend that you use the miscellaneous item to hold the place for items that you would need for this version. Uh, set the quantities as needed and any pricing that you might need if you're going fixed price. So then if we scroll to the bottom under invoicing you'll find there's a fixed price and discount slider. If you turn this on then if we head back to the version lines you'll find an extra column. This is allow fixed price quantity change. So now with that slider on when this version is added to a document we'll be using the values in this page here, so these prices and these discounts, instead of pulling the values from the item or labour card. With items like oil, for example, you don't know how many litres are going to be sold per vehicle. So if we select this line here, as this one is, then we will be able to change the oil quantity on the job sheet without breaking the service package. Let me show you how that works. So over in a job sheet, if we scroll down to the lines, I go look up service package and I add the gold service that I just created. If I now change this oil quantity to say 10 litres, you'll see that the unit price there is changing, but it's keeping that the line value the same. So if I change this to five, one, back to 10, fixed price package. However, because the other lines on this document were not selected, if I try and change it to say two hours labor, we'll be warned. And then of course you have the choice to accept the change or decline the change. So back in service packages. Once you've created a version, you may find it useful to use one of the copy or copy from features that we have. So copy will copy the version you have highlighted to the rows below. So if I just click copy, yes, you can see it just creates a, an exact copy beneath. Copy from will allow us to go to a, any other version and copy it into this. So say I want to copy across the uh, this major service and then I can make amendments in this package. And that's it, service packages and versions built. As always, if you have any questions or want a little further help with anything, just contact a member of the team.